There are many ways to store your information. You can save files on your micro SD, flash drive, hard disk, or even on the cloud. But have you ever considered saving them on your RAM? In this video, we will find out if it's possible. Hello and welcome to another tutorial. I'm Abraham and you're watching the Iraqi Tech Geek. So RAM stands for Random Access Memory. Memory means you can save information on it, just like any other storage devices. But this type of memory works in a very unique way. It needs an electrical charge in order to store the data. Once that electricity is gone, all the information will be lost and there is no way to recover it. Now you might ask yourself a question. Why would I need a storage device that loses the information once I restart the computer? Well, think of it this way. Since RAM is very fast, you can install big applications that will take only seconds to install them on this virtual device, or even operating systems that would take maybe half an hour to install them on the Windows, will take only few minutes, maybe four or five, to install big operating systems just to test it. In this video, we will try to install Linux on this virtual device. Can you do it? There are many useful tools for such purpose, but my favorite is Primo RAM Disk, since it has all the options I would need. I will include the link in the description. Once you downloaded the file, go ahead and install it. Then, open up Primo RAM Disk and click on New. Select create a disk with new settings. Select the virtual size of the disk. I will use 11 gigabytes. Check the box where it says one time disk. This means if you restart the computer, the virtual hard disk will be deleted. This option is optimal if you think your computer will freeze. Click next. You can name the volume label the way you want. Click finish and the virtual RAM disk is created. For faster installation, I'm going to copy the image file of the operating system to the virtual drive itself, because copying files inside the RAM is much faster, even faster than SSD. You can see the copy speed is about 120 megabytes per second from a normal hard disk. Go ahead and close that up. Open up VMware or VirtualBox. They're used for creating virtual computers inside your Windows. I'll put a link in the description, but in this video, I will be using VMware. Click on Create a new virtual machine. Select either one of two options. The below one will give the feeling of clean install on a formatted hard disk. Click Next and select the operating system you're trying to install. I'm a fan of Linux, so I'll install Ubuntu. Make sure to change the path to the virtual RAM disk that we created. Set the maximum disk size in gigabyte, then customize the virtual hardware. I will leave the RAM to 2 gigabytes because Linux does not consume resources. And set the processor to 2 cores. Then click on the CD icon to select the operating system image that we copied earlier. Click finish and run the virtual machine.
follow the steps for an installation. Each operating system has its own steps. Once you're done with the virtual machine testing or application testing, delete the remaining files and go back to Primo RAM disk and delete the virtual RAM you created. Open up Task Manager after you finish to check your RAM status. It should be back to normal. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please like it and subscribe to this channel. And I will see you in the next video.